Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Having a good time today, like any other day. And let's see, last time in our last video, we were getting ready to go to Palm Springs for the Paradise Roadshow. It was great. I met a lot of people down there that are some of our viewers and it was fun. We had a great time down there. I rode the knuckle, which uh, was kind of a hit down there. Everybody enjoyed it, as did I, because it went like crazy all the way down there. Anyway, it was a good time. Uh, next thing I want to say is if you're enjoying these videos, by all means, please subscribe. And please remember to tap the, uh, to click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new video. Okay, so after the show, uh, my buddy John and I had to go into uh, one of the Harley dealerships about 30 miles away and uh, we got our parts. We were on our way back. I was riding my little panhead baby doll here and she was running along just beautifully until she started making noises. Baby doll does not make weird noises, so I was a little concerned. Got off the freeway and come to find out the banging and clanging was going on inside the primary cover, so I pulled the outer cover off. And what I found was she had pulled a few teeth off of her belt. Well, I called home and uh, talked to my buddy Mike, the cameraman, and said, hey, um, be on standby. And he said, okay, fine. I said, well, we're going to try to make it home. So I put the cover back on. She'd pull maybe eight or ten, maybe a dozen teeth off of the belt. And all the way home, you could hear it making noise. And I went at about ten miles an hour in second gear all the way home. John making like a, 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 a funeral escort. And I went right through all the red lights and stop signs and everything and nobody seemed to care and I got all the way home at about 10 miles an hour. Well when I got home I pulled the cover off and a whole bunch more teeth fell out. So I was kind of upset about it until I thought about it and I realized that belt is 20 something years old and it's entitled to deteriorate. At this point I think we're about 38 teeth short of what she's supposed to have. We cleaned them off. But I really think that this belt lived to a ripe old age and I'm okay with it. Especially since the new belt's in and I'm ready to put it on. Well, I went to put it on and with some belt drives you can get everything loosened up and you still get enough room to get that belt worked on there with this particular one. I'm afraid I'm going to have to remove the pulley. Now I've loosened up the transmission. It slid all the way forward. I loosened up the chain so I could do that. So everything is moved forward and I just can't seem to get that belt on without removing the pulley. So come along with me and I'll remove the pulley. I got my little handy dandy puller out here and I've already removed the nut and the uh, belt guide. So now all we need to do is uh, put this puller in place. Now Baby Doll is a 52, so we have to use a puller in order to remove this pulley because that's a tapered shaft. It's not splined like the later ones. Harley used the same tapered shaft from about, I believe, 1937 right up to 19, up to and through 1954, I think in 55 is when they came out with the splines. So this is a tapered shaft and this pulley is on here pretty, uh, pretty much. But you know what? I got one of my handy dandy little tools out here so I can just, uh, Put that bolt in there kind of quick like. There we go. And I think that pulley, whether it's aware of it or not, is about to come off. 
So I'm just going to uh, tighten this here wrench on it. You know, I should have done that with my impact. I think I will. What I'll do is I'll get a uh, three-quarter inch socket, which is what I need. And I'll get me an air hose, which is what I need. And uh, make quick, wor quick work out of that. Now, as soon as I hit this impact, the sound's going to quit working on the camera. And we'll have to wait for the sound to come back. But, well, gee. All right. We're going to make noise, so everybody sit tight. And there is the pulley. <laughs> yeah. Get this puller off of here. All right. That should make everything work a little easier. There we go. Now once we get the uh, puller off of here, then we can put the belt right on there. Now this belt was running true, running fine, having no difficulties. I really think it just plain expired. It said, you know, I've given you 20-some years of my life, and apparently it's over. I'm not having a service for this thing, but... Uh, all right. There we go. And this pulley is in fine shape. We're going to look at it very carefully, make sure the taper is fine. Everything in there is perfect. Life is good. So now what we're going to do is put the belt onto the clutch basket, which is the rear pulley. Get it in a nice straight line. And slide it right in place. Now if I did that too fast, I'll pull it off and do it again. Like I said, the transmission is slid all the way forward, as is the rear wheel, so that, uh, there, put the belt on there, and try to line up with that key, and there it is. The key is still in the shaft where I put it 20-some years ago. That's not true, I've rebuilt the motor since then, but the belt is the same belt all along. So there it is. The belt is now on. Um, the next thing is to uh, put the belt, the, uh, what do we call this thing here? It's a guide, the belt guide. That's really a guide. It keeps the belt centered in there. You don't want to rely on this 100%. If your shafts are perfectly in order, and that means they're in the same plane this way and this way. 
that belt will stay on there and be just fine for years and years, just like this one has always been. And when I get done here, I'm going to tighten up the transmission. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to turn that belt like that. If I can turn that belt from a horizontal to a vertical position, then it's good. That's what the manufacturer said on this specific belt drive. You should always go with the manufacturer's recommendations. This particular one is a uh, Rivera Primo, or we can say Primo Rivera, whatever. Uh, I understand Rivera has closed their doors, but these parts are still available different places. And uh, so I was able to get a new belt. So now all it amounts to is tightening down the transmission, making sure that I've still got enough play in that thing, getting this tightened good and tight, and moving the rear, getting the transmission tightened down, then adjusting the rear chain, adjusting the shifter, and adjusting the clutch rod again so that everything is in alignment and perfect and we're good to go. So I think I've shown everything here that needs to be done. In previous videos, we've shown how to adjust the clutch, how to adjust the shifter, the whole works. So now the belt is on and everything's done. Refer back to the other videos, please. And if there's any questions, send them into the comments section. I love getting comments. So I think we're done for now. I'm gonna tighten all this up and go for a ride. And maybe when I go for a ride, I'll see you out on the road.